Hey kids, uh, my name is Johnny. I think it's so cool that you're still meeting and doing all this and hearing your stories every Sunday over video. Keep doing it, keep it up. Um, I've got another uh, kind of story to tell you today. I wanna tell you about a time that when I was at secondary school, I was a wee bit older than you. I was about 13, 14. And I, we were allowed to start choosing what subjects we wanted to, to study at school. How cool is that? Like, if there were subjects for eating ice cream or um, playing sport, I would have been all over that. But I loved maths and I loved science. I loved like investigating and experimenting and lighting things on fire and all that. But another subject that I chose was media studies. Now. You're probably going, oh, what is media studies, Johnny? Media studies was like film or TV or fairy tales or stories or like we got to watch TV and films. I remember watching Batman in school, watching Match of the Day in school. Oh, it was class. Who thinks that would be cool? It was cool. And we looked at different characters and we had to we were told about this one man he said all fairy tales are the same because they all have the same characters i thought that's a bit harsh he said look every fairy tale has got the good guys that's the hero they've got the bad guys okay the villains they've got someone that helps out yeah okay someone that's pretending to be good, we call it a false hero. And there were all these other ones, but how about we do some of these now? Like, can I give you, if I time you, can you take 15 seconds, go to, you know, the person in your room that's, that's maybe watching this with you, or just, if there's no one, just go shout it out to the TV. What is your favorite fairy tale or Disney film or something that you really, really like? Okay, take 15 seconds. Three, two, one. Okay, I hope you came up with a fairy tale. I'm gonna go with um, Shrek, and I'll actually I'll do two. I'll do Shrek and I'll do Frozen. Now, let's think of, let's start with an easy one. Who in your story was the villain, the baddie? Okay, now for Shrek, it's definitely the little short guy, Lord Farquhar. And for Frozen, I'd say it's probably the the Duke of Weselton, he's at the start and he he's evil. He wants to undermine Anna and Elsa and get their kingdom. Okay, another easy one. Who's the hero? Definitely Shrek and Shrek. And I would say Anna and El and Frozen because she goes after Elsa. Okay, and there's always someone called the helper. Who helps? Now, in Shrek, Definitely Donkey. What a good character. And in Frozen, maybe maybe two. Maybe Olaf and Sven. That'd be right. And then we've got the false hero. Now, who is this person that pretends to be good but actually isn't? Shrek. Oh, definitely Prince Charming. Definitely Prince Charming. And in Frozen... Probably Hans as well. He's not as nice as he seems either. And then usually there's a princess or, and it's definitely Princess Fiona and, and Shrek. And I know there's two, but I would say Elsa is probably, well say Elsa because she's kind of the prize at the end. But you know, this one person, he said about this hero, what makes a really good hero? And he always, he said it's someone that changes over the period of the story. That's different, like, you know, Shrek, he was, 
He was hated at the start. People didn't like him. They called him ugly. They shouted at him. They were scared. He was misunderstood. But at the end of the film, he's nearly a different person, isn't he? He's the hero. And I kind of identify with, with a hero like that. You know, someone that doesn't have it all together, but they were misunderstood. But at the end, they ch they've changed. You know, there's this man in the Bible called Peter. He was one of Jesus' friends. He, when Jesus was doing his thing for three years, doing miracles, Peter followed him. And Peter was a bit like, well, a bit like me. He got a lot of things wrong. I'll give you some examples. Peter, he didn't understand the stories that Jesus told. Jesus would get up and tell a story and Peter would go, uh, Jesus, can you explain that again? I didn't get that. Do you ever feel like that in school? That you're always the person that doesn't understand? Well, Peter was like that. Another time, Jesus was going through a big, big crowd and it was so busy that Peter decided, look, let's keep all the children and the babies away. But Jesus go, no, no, Peter, you've got it wrong. It's, I, I wanna see the babies. I wanna see the children. I love them as well. It's not just for grown-ups and adults, it's for such as these. Do you remember the time Peter tried to walk on water towards Jesus and guess what? He fell in until Jesus grabbed him up. There was another time he got it wrong. Um, Jesus was praying in a garden. He said, don't leave me alone. And what happened? Peter fell asleep, okay? Just when Jesus wanted his company. Another time was Jesus, um, he actually denied Jesus. He said, I, he was asked, do you know Jesus? You were the guy that hung out with Jesus for three years, weren't you? And every time Peter said no, that was, that was pretty bad. But at the very end, when G, just before Jesus goes to heaven, he goes, Peter, do you love me? Do you love me? Do you love me? And every time Peter says, yeah, I know I can't do much else, but Jesus, I can love you. And Jesus goes, Peter, you're the one that I want to build my church on. I want you to lead this thing once I'm gone. How cool is that? You know, he hadn't got his stuff together. I think that's pretty heroic. But Jesus chooses the person that doesn't have it all together, the person that was misunderstood, got it wrong, but yet at the very end, he had journeyed that and he had, he had become a different person. He tried and failed, but he tried again. And the most important thing was that he kept saying to Jesus, I do love you and I'm gonna keep trying hard for you. You know, you, you might set yourself a goal and say, here, I'm gonna, I'm gonna tell somebody about Jesus this week. You know, once I go back to school, I can't wait. I'm just gonna say, I'm gonna tell somebody about Jesus or I'm gonna go out for a walk and I'm gonna, when I'm with my parents or whoever, I'm gonna, I'm gonna stop someone and say, you know, Jesus loves you. I think that's pretty heroic. And that's why I absolutely love Peter. He's my hero. Because he reminds me that when I get it wrong, Jesus picks me up and goes, I still love you, I still believe in you. So let's pray. Jesus, Father, thank you so much that you love us, you care for us, and that you think heroes are people like you and me. You think heroes are people that maybe haven't got it all together, that have tried but failed, and you keep choosing us. But Lord, would you give us the strength to be more heroic? To, to live for you, to tell people about you, and to love everyone that we meet better. Yes, yeah, so would you help us? In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you so much. So good to be able to do this. Bye-bye.